High Plains Technology Center, turning education and training into workplace success. Oh, back to school, back to school, to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. High Plains Technology Center, education at the speed of business. School is now in session. Good morning. This is Katie Shirley, High Plains Marketing Coordinator, back again with you guys this week, filling in for Taylor. Um, I have a guest with me today, Mrs. McDowell. Good morning. Good morning. And we'll talk to her in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to give some overall High Plains news. Um, So February is Career and Technical Education Month. So all 29 technology centers across Oklahoma are busy um, just celebrating and sharing all the success um, that our students have had in our partnerships and our Um, the way we help with workforce and just sharing the news about what career tech actually does and all the different arms and branches. So um, if you're following us on social media, you should be seeing those um, posts kind of mixed in with our million other um, posts of just what is going on at High Plains because there is always, always something going on. And um, social media really just catches probably I mean, 10% of it, but um, especially this month, we have a ton of our career tech student organizations um, celebrating um, like their weeks of like HOSA week, which is our health um, occupational service um, organization. So they celebrated last week and then we'll talk about BPA week here in a minute. Um, And then we've got a lot of short term classes that have kicked off this month, including phlebotomy, CMA, CNA, and let's see, we've got CDL truck driving going and WinTech is going full on. Last week we had um, two fun events um, in the evening from the Oklahoma Renewable Energy Council. We had a night of wind and we had several, um, a whole bunch of students come in and get to visit with our WinTech students and put on the harness and climb the Jacob's Ladder and just learn all about a career in wind. So that was really fun. We also are um, today, well, let's see, no, that was Monday at Chamber, our TAP officers, our technical applications program, which is our sixth grade and then also eighth and ninth grade students um, where they learn a little bit about each of the um, programs that we have out at High Plains for a couple weeks um, all throughout the year. They um, host, they were decorated the tables at Chamber and also served lunch. So they've been um, busy with some community activities. Um, In the Chamber, they were highlighting Ag Mechanics Show, which is part of the district stock show starting Um, this Saturday. So you will definitely want to go out to the Woodward County Event Center and see all the projects these students have um, welded. This um, part of the stock show has grown hugely with TAP actually having the most um, enrolled items. Um, And the students actually have to visit with the judges about their project. So that's a little different than just, you know, when they're showing their pig, which takes a lot of hard work, but they're not having to interview and visit with the judge, whereas ag mechanics, they're actually explaining their project and how they welded it and all that. So you will want to go out there and see, I mean, there are stock trailers, there are really nice um, pieces of equipment that these students have done themselves. So that is going on this weekend. We have a ton of kids that um, show livestock, so we've been busy supporting them and their local and county shows. And then, let's see, coming up. Katrina, can you think of anything coming up besides we've got a lot of contests. We have constructions done their regional contests, welding. So you can see, you want to follow us on High Plains on social media to keep up with those placings. And you can catch them in the newspaper too. Um, Skills USA, we have the... um, the contest coming up for those of all of the, you know, what is it called that they're doing? The, like they're doing academic, what is it? Like they're doing trivia and they're doing interview skills. And so we have like 40 some students, I believe. And the Skills USA is part of the trade. So that's welding, diesel, 
and construction. construction and service careers. So I think they're doing that service careers. Speaking of, yes, they went to contests last week and did really good. So I think that covers most of catching up and then what's coming up. And now, Katrina, um, you are the instructor of business and business and marketing. marketing. So tell us a little bit about just your program in general and what you guys are working on. Okay, sure. We have business and marketing, which has a whole array of career majors from accounting to entrepreneur, digital marketing, medical office assistants. We've got a wider range of career majors in there. And we're just working hard. We are actually have contests going on today for DECA, which is for marketing, finance, and um, hospitality students. So they're competing today. I have seven of them. And then I also have one that is running for collegiate state officer. So Tucker West from Fargo. And what does that involve when you are running for office? So what goes into that? First of all, he had to do initial interviews or fill out the application. He had to go through the application process first. He has to make so much points on that. Then he's invited to interview. Then at the interview, they record them doing different promotion things. They have to take a test. And then based off of that score, then they get invited to actually run. And so at state convention, the career development conference, which is going on now, they will be, he will be giving up his speech. He will, then we go through the voting process. We have voting delegates that will vote for high school and for collegiate DECA. Okay. Um, And is that Kirsten Cook, our student, a couple years ago Yes, she was on the first um, collegiate council since it started back, and then now we're on the third. So this is the third year. And what office did Kirsten hold again? She was a vice president. Vice president. And that's what Tucker is running for also as vice president. Okay. That would be very exciting. We have um, currently two state officers right now in, in HOSA and health careers, Brooke Keller and Faith Parsons, and they've been, I mean, it's its a really neat, very involved. HOSA runs there is a little bit different. They vote at the beginning of the year, and then they run for that year. With DECA and BPA, they run the year before, and then they run, or then they serve the following year. The following, yeah. So Tucker will be really busy next year. Yes. And what, how old is he? What is he'll he? He'll be graduating this year, so he'll be on the collegiate okay. side next year. So he'll plan to come to High Plains. Yes, as yes, yes. He has to come back as an adult since he signed up through us to, okay. to come And um, an just speaking of thinking about that, because Tucker didn't come last year, right? Right. So, so the Next Step Scholarship, if some people don't know about that, if you don't come to High Plains your junior and senior year, you can take advantage of the next step if you're in our district and you could come your senior year and then the following year and not have to pay the tuition. Or if you didn't come at all in high school, you can come right after high school and come as an adult for those um, yeah, You could years. do full time for the one year or part time for the two years. Yeah. So that's good to know in case some have didn't know that was an option yes. in case you missed it. But Okay, so that is going on. And where is the conference you guys are It's in are Midwest to? City. Okay. And I have seven that are competing. I have two that are in group of, group events, which is hospitality and tourism and then travel and tourism. And then I have some. One's doing an innovation plan. He had to write a paper, create a product, and then talk about it. And then I have one doing human resources, one doing personal finance, I believe that is all. And do most of those, when they're competing, involve like a test or is it an interview? Uh, and for DECA about it? side, some of them have a test. If they have a paper, they don't have to take a test. They have to write a paper. Okay. If they take a test, then usually they do a role play at competition. If they write a paper, they usually give a presentation at competition. Okay. And this is just DECA contest, and yes. you'll have BP. Okay. So DECA is. The part of your program that is more marketing and marketing. digital marketing, entrepreneurship, finance. Okay. And BPA, which is Business yes. Professionals of America, covers kind of the other. Yes, the business side of everything. And so I do have, we got results on Sunday, this last Sunday, for those that will be making it to state as far as testing wise. And I had three that made it to state for testing wise. And then I have one other that will be going to state um, because she has to compete at state. So BPA is a little bit different in that you have to qualify on most events to make it to state. Okay. You have to send in your pre-submits of your speech, your um, graphic design, things like that, or you have to take a test and okay. be accepted to go. And when is the BPA contest? It is March 4th through the 6th. Okay. So, so we have just, just a little bit to prepare for that. 
And like I said, I'll have either three or four going, but I have four that have been qualified to go. Okay. And then, um, so BPA week is the celebration of just, a lot of this is raising awareness and just promoting um, what goes on in these activities and a fun week for the students. I know HOSA did dress up days. Yes. So yes. you guys have themes. To yes. Different well, days. we don't have themes as far as dress up, but we have social media themes um, that we post every day this week. And then we're going to end it on Friday with a BPA party. Okay. So to sort of end up the week, BPA slash Valentine's party. Here. Right. <laughs> so. so among all those things happening, the students are all still working on projects yes. just in their curriculum. Yes, they're still working on um, the ones who do contests sometimes spend a little bit more time on contests during this time getting prepared, but everybody's still working on to be able to finish out the year this year. Okay. And what are, um, do you have pretty good involvement of those really wanting to do the contest? Yes. Does it seem I mean, like that grows each year? Yes. Well, the, this Fitness. year I have a little bit more going to DECA competition, a little bit less going to BPA competition, but it just varies because um, they have to choose. They can yeah. both be DECA and BPA, but they have to choose one or the other contest. They can't do both contests. Okay. And you've had both programs for? Last year and this year this only, year. Okay. yes. And so um, pretty busy, a lot going on in there. Yes, because all the awards have been due this week, so we've received quite a few different awards We've received the gold status for the school-based enterprise. We resubmitted this year. Last year was our big submission, and we received gold status. This year, we just had to resubmit, redo three of the eight standards and turn those in, and I did find out we received it. And then on the BPA side, they have what's called BPA CARES. We received the Community Service Award for it, the Chapter Activities Award of Excellence, and then we also sent in for recruiter of the year. So we're waiting okay. to hear about that. And so whenever, like, t is it tonight or tomorrow? Do you Yeah, find it'll out be tomorrow. We'll get, yes, we'll get all. We'll find out if Tucker made it as DECA collegiate officer. And we will get all of our DECA awards that we've received. Okay, awesome. So anything? Okay, um, we might throw this plug out there. Since enrollment is going on now, um, what would a spiel be from you to those that might be like a sophomore interested in your program or an adult? Yes. So if you're interested in anything business, marketing, entrepreneur, owning your own business, anything like that, um, just get a hold of Miss Halderman at the school. I do not do interviews as of right now. It depends on if I get full. I might start having to do those if I fill up too easily. But um, just call Miss Halderman, get enrolled, and we'll get you started. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so enrollment for our high school students, our counselor, our guidance counselor, Audra Halderman, is, goes into each of our Sydney schools and she visits with all of the students. And she's the one that kind of helps each of those students figure out what path, if they are choosing to come to High Plains, what program. And so um, if you haven't heard about that yet or you're a parent and you're wondering, you want your kid to attend High Plains and they haven't mentioned it, Right now is a good time to talk to them about that. And we're always, um, I know Audra has been giving tours a yeah, lot lately. Had, I know two, at least today. <laughs> yeah. Full tours, so. so their parents come and the student, they just take a look, walk around the programs and kind of make sure it's the right fit for them. And yes, some programs do um, involve either testing. Testing um, or interviews. Or interview. you have to have letters of reference and things like that. But my program currently, you can just enroll. Yeah. So that is all happening. And if you are a homeschool epic or um, just an adult, right now is a good time to reach out to uh, Mrs. Halderman at High Plains and she can help um, get you enrolled as well. So um, you can always go to our um, website at hptc.edu or call us at 580-256-6618 <laughs> and visit with Anita and she'll connect you with the right person. All right. Well, thank you, Katrina. Thank and you. good luck. I cannot wait to hear the results and um, stay tuned on social media to find out um, what all they received. All right. Thank you. Thanks.